Gods in World Box. Divine beings that have helped your world develop since the beginning of time. And you never noticed. Here's what they look like. Gods in World Box. A secret hidden within time. Let's start. As the sky turns a light red, humanity prepares for the worst. It's the beginning of the Age of Chaos. But first, let me explain. Every 50 years in World Box, the age changes and there's 10 ages possible right now. Each age brings something with it, a god. Some gods choose to help people, while others bring death and destruction with them. This time, the age chosen is the Age of Chaos. As the boy ran through the woods, the world around him would change and distort. The trees phased in and out of existence, and he heard voices that came from seemingly out of nowhere. It felt like no matter how far he ran, he would never escape it. It was driving him mad. Soon everything began to change into something new. He couldn't tell fake from real, and he started to see something in the shape of a snake. And all of a sudden, the man began acting wildly, attacking anything and everything around him. He wasn't the only person either. Rumors of insanity had spread across the country like a wildfire, and it seemed like it was impossible to stop. There was no cure besides death. Madness broke out everywhere. Hundreds were dying every day, and this country had fallen apart. No amount of preparation could have saved them. People had to fend for themselves as clouds of rage were cast over them. This god has two forms, its snake form and the humanoid form. The snake form goes against normal peasants causing madness and paranoia, while the humanoid form goes for high-ranking people like kings causing the voices in my head trait. As all hope is lost, the deep red sky begins to lighten up into pink. A new age is here and it brings a new god with it. Who could it be? Here's a clue. I hope you subscribe. Gods in World Box, a secret hidden within time. Let's start. All hope had been lost. The entire country had been torn apart and people were left to fend for themselves. Madness grew more rampant and anyone who showed signs of it would be hunted down. Humanity needed change. They needed a miracle. And a miracle came in the form of a new age. Here, let me explain. Every 50 years in World Box, the age changes and there's 10 ages possible right now. Each age brings something with it, a god. Some gods choose to help people, while others bring death and destruction with them. This time, the age chosen is the Age of Wonders. The guards rushed through the village searching for their suspect. Little did they know he was right next to them. He was suspected of having madness and was supposed to be executed. However, by some stroke of luck, he managed to escape. Now he fled through the forest looking for somewhere safe, but he was spotted. He darted through the trees running for his life. He wouldn't die without a fight. But he wasn't fast enough. The guards caught up and he was cut down. He fell to the ground. Unable to move, his fate was sealed. Or so he thought. As the hunter raised his arm, the air grew thicker and a cloud of dust was blown all around them. The guard was nowhere to be seen, and the escapee had a second chance at life. This god only has one form and is weak to magic using creatures like the evil mage and the necromancer. She appears during times of conflict and can cast pink clouds that stop any fighting in an area. She also has a healing aura that can restore the health of creatures nearby. But of course nothing lasts forever. Humanity will be forced through yet another challenge. But for now, subscribe. Gods in World Box. A secret hidden within time. Let's start.
The man prepared to walk into the woods armed with only a torch. He needed to get food for his family as they were running low on it. The storms had destroyed the farms and people had to hunt for themselves. But it'll be okay. All he needs to do is find an animal, or so he thought. The man had been to these woods his whole life, but this time it felt a bit different. It felt like someone or something was with him. But his hunger overpowered the feeling of paranoia and he kept going. The deeper in he went, the more paranoid he'd get. But he couldn't stop. He had a starving family he needed to feed. Then through the trees, he saw something. A man doing some sort of ritual. He was frozen with fear. But before he could do or say anything, he was spotted. He jumped back and in a panic, he dropped his torch. So he ran without it. He had a family back at home. He couldn't die here. As he ran, the forest grew darker and darker until he could barely see what was in front of him. He sprinted through, never looking back. Then, he fainted. As he got back up, the forest around him had burst into flames. I can't die. I won't. His body was exhausted, but the thought of his wife and kids kept him going. The exit was getting closer and closer. He wasn't going to give up now. Then he felt it, an arrow piercing his back, but even that couldn't stop him. The exit was so close, 20 feet, 10 feet, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. He escaped death by a hair, and he would live to see another day. Now let me explain. Every 50 years in World Box, the age changes and there's 10 ages possible right now. Each age brings something with it, a god. Some gods choose to help people, while others bring death and destruction with them. This time, the age chosen is the age of despair. This god has only one form and can cause paranoia to any creatures around it. Its ritual can be stopped by any creature that manages to damage it, and it can summon any animal. Gods and World Box. A secret hidden within time. Let's start. As the bright blue sky begins to darken and the clouds begin to rain, humanity begins preparing for the next new age. Here, let me explain. Every 50 years in World Box, the age changes and there's 10 ages possible right now. Each age brings something with it. A god. Some gods are merciful and protect, while others choose to destroy. This time, the age chosen is the age of tears. The hypnotized man stares into the swamp. He feels drawn towards it, and his curiosity leads him in. Not long after the man begins to feel like he's being watched. As he walks through, the world begins to shift and change around him until he is engulfed in darkness. but he doesn't feel scared. He feels like he's being guided. He sees mirages of his family, but he ignores it. He's being pulled in by some supernatural force. The man runs until he has nowhere else to go. And the shadows clear up, revealing the setting around him. He had arrived at the beach. As he stared off into the horizon, he saw the silhouette of a man standing above the water. As the silhouette got closer, he began to realize what he saw. He tried to run, but he was frozen. It was no human. It was something worse. But before he could react, something rose out of the water. It reached out, holding its hand right above the man. This is what was watching him. 
and the world began to distort again. His entire life flashed before his eyes. He saw hundreds of people he had never met before. Fathers, kids, wives, brothers. These were all victims of this monster. Then the flashing stopped. Just total darkness. The black began to turn into a dark blue. He was underwater? He swam to the top and he soon realized that he had somehow woken up hundreds of meters from the shore. As he swam back, he began to feel an extreme hatred for anything and everything. He had been driven mad. His fate was sealed and he would become just another victim to this god. This is the god of tears. Pause to read. Gods in World Box. A secret hidden within time. Let's start. Every 50 years in World Box, the age changes, and there's 10 ages possible right now. Each age brings something with it a god. Some gods choose to help people, while others bring death and destruction with them. This time, the age chosen is the Age of Hope. The boys wander through the woods looking for the abandoned temple they had found a few days ago. Maybe they could find some valuable items inside. They retrace their steps remembering all of the things they'd seen when they came before. And eventually they'd arrived. This ancient monument had been untouched for thousands of years, so it should have at least a few things of value inside. They could barely hold back their excitement. They could be rich. They wouldn't have to work in the mines anymore, and they would finally be able to enjoy life. As they stumbled into the temple, the air inside felt different. It felt charged with magic. But the feeling of excitement overpowered whatever fears they had. They searched around, and sure enough, they'd hit gold. One found an adamantine stone, and the other had found some sort of ritual. He reached down to touch the weird shape, but by then it was already too late. The air around them began to heat up, the ground began to shake, then it happened. This ritual was storing thousands of years of pent-up magic, and it had just been activated. He was flung against the wall, almost losing his life. His friends stumbled back in fear and confusion. That's when they realized what they'd released, an evil mage that had been locked away for thousands of years. They sprinted out, running for their lives, trying to remember which way they came from. But they weren't fast enough. A pillar nearby was hit, disorienting the trio. The dust blown up made it hard to see, and they were all divided. But they held on to hope and figured out a way through. The mage casted another spell, but it was miraculously blocked. The trio didn't have time to question it, though. All they could think about was escaping. But yet again, they weren't fast enough. And one of the friends was hit immediately killing him. But he would get a second chance at life. They travel through the desert, mapping landmarks and exploring ruins. No one had lived here for thousands. What does it mean? What does it mean? The air around him began to turn a deep blue filled with arcane energies. Welcome to Avato Village. You must not be from around here. Why? Stop him! Stop him now! 
Don't let him escape. If he escapes, we are all doomed. We're doomed. What have you done? Gods in World Box. A secret hidden within time. Let's start. Every 50 years in World Box, the age changes and there's 10 ages possible right now. Each age brings something with it. A god. Some gods choose to help people, while others bring death and destruction with them. This time the age chosen is the Age of Ash. The Day of Rebellion, a group of soldiers had arrived at the port of Okovo, a city that was once one of the most advanced places in the world. Now it was a wasteland, destroyed by corruption and war. Most of the soldiers had grown up here, but they fled when war broke out. Now they were back with hopes of saving this city. This once thriving metropolis had fallen victim to a devastating outbreak of ash sickness and disease that had swept through its streets, leaving behind a landscape of desolation and despair. During that time of sickness, corruption spread through the country like wildfire. And a certain gang of rebels took advantage of that, taking control over the city. Anyone that tried to fight back would be murdered in cold blood. These soldiers were here to stop that. Their mission was to track down the two leaders of the Syndicate, the Mutant and the Abomination. It wouldn't be easy, but they had nothing to lose. But before they did anything, they had to make sure to blend in. As they walked through the marketplace, they felt a slight glimmer of hope as life still prevailed in such hard times. The once majestic and ornate architecture now appeared worn and corroded, mirroring the city's diseased and dying state. Finally, they arrived at their first destination, the junkyard. This was their plan. The group would split up into two teams. One was on the attack and the other would distract. The distracting team would detonate a bomb on the left wall, diverting the attention of the guards, giving the attacking team an easy opening. And it worked perfectly. The once vibrant colors that adorned the buildings now faded, as if mourning the loss of the city's former glory. Finally, they arrived at the castle. They planted a bomb on the doors and prepared for war. Little did they know they were being watched. In the blink of an eye, their friend was gone, taken by the guard. He was thrown when his bomb detonated on him, ending him. But they had no time to waste. They were forced to leave him behind and they headed into the castle. There he was, the mutant, a man modified beyond recognition. Before they could say anything, he attacked. As he powered up for his second shot, one of the soldiers managed to place a bomb on the mutant, killing him. They needed to leave now. They knew the explosion would attract the guards, but it was necessary. As they ran, the sounds of mechanical footsteps grew louder and louder until they were spotted for the second time. They sprinted through the junkyard as explosions rang out all around them. All they could do was run, and eventually, they escaped. But to their surprise, a crowd of people stood outside the junkyard. They heard the explosions and wanted to join the fight against this corrupt government. It was now or never. War broke out in the streets of Okovo City, hundreds if not thousands of people dying every hour. For every one syndicate member, five normal citizens died. But it didn't matter. They would rather lose their life than serve this corrupt government for any longer. It was a worthy sacrifice. The war had come to an end and the streets were filled with blood. Of the six soldiers sent, only one survived. But he wouldn't for much longer. The second and strongest target had risen right in front of him. And in the blink of an eye, he closed the distance between them. It's over, the soldier thought. But as he braced for the hit, the abomination had disappeared. 
and in his place was a tall, lanky man. He looked extremely malnourished. The soldier jumped back in surprise and the god stared at him. He would be one of the sole survivors of this battle. It is the night of the full moon in the village of Ilus, a village isolated deep in a forest far away from any other humans. This night would be full of celebration and joy. Or so they thought. This was no ordinary city, though. These people were... gifted. The moonlight that shined above them made them stronger. They were outcasts, forced away from humanity because of their power. However, this night would go so wrong. A group of ruthless hunters plotted to bring devastation to a village teeming with individuals blessed with the moon child trait. This group of people were called huntsmen. This group believed too much power could lead to mass death and destruction, so they killed anyone who had traits that were deemed too powerful. As darkness crept in, the hunters readied their sinister weapons, preparing to destroy any and everything they could find. Tonight they planned on massacring. Without wasting a second, they attacked, slaughtering anyone they could find. The villagers were strong, but these huntsmen had weapons and armor. The alarms were rang, but it was too late. Hundreds had already died, and this massacre was just beginning. The village had been engulfed in flames. Hundreds of years of work had been destroyed in seconds. In the midst of this destruction was a boy named Cain. His brother had been hit by an arrow, and he was unable to move. He fell to his knees, begging his brother to get up, but it was already too late. Distracted trying to save his brother, he didn't see the arrow headed towards him. Seeing the death and destruction of his people, the moon was enraged. How could they be so cruel? There would be vengeance. All across the world, flooding began, and with it came monsters and creatures hidden within the ocean's depths. Villages hundreds of miles away from bodies of water were affected. This god would show no mercy to humanity. The arrow had struck Cain in his head. But he wouldn't give up yet. He got up and began running through the forest as fast as he could, attempting to avoid as many arrows as possible. He would never surrender. But he was hit. Again, he fell to the ground. But this time he wasn't able to get up. It's over, he thought as the huntsman caught up to him. My fate is sealed. But his prayers would finally be answered. He felt a feeling of rage and hate surge through his body as he saw hundreds of people getting killed and trapped by these hunters. He wouldn't go out like the others. In a split second, he lunged at the leader, killing him immediately. He was overcome with rage and quickly after he ended the lives of the other two soldiers. He had been blessed with celestial power and he would get to live another day. Now let me explain. Every 50 years in World Box, the age changes and there's 10 ages possible right now. Each age brings something with it, a god. Some gods choose to help people, while others bring death and destruction with them. This time the age chosen was the age of the moon. Thanks for watching. If you have a video idea slash World Box concept you'd want me to animate, comment it down below and I may do it and credit you. Once every 500 years, as the world spins through its cosmic dance, people from all corners gather at this ethereal event. It was the night of the Nocturne Festival. Thousands of people had traveled across the world to be here. This was a night of celebration and joy. In a secluded corner of the festival grounds where the lantern's lights aren't seen, something grows. The man awoke with a start, his heart pounding. His eyes blinked open. He had had nightmares before. But this one, it felt different. It was just a dream, he told himself as he entered the festival. But as he walked around, he felt uneasy. 
I should relax. The parade's about to start, he thought. But in the corner of his eye, he noticed something suspicious. As he followed the man out, his curiosity grew bigger and bigger. Why was he leaving? The parade was about to start? He followed the man through the woods, the light from lanterns growing darker and darker, until they finally arrived. Whoa, this is what he saw in his dreams. His questions were finally answered, but what was it and what was it doing here? His feeling of curiosity was overran by an extreme feeling of paranoia. Then he had another dream. We will sail until every light has been extinguished. Wait, the puzzle pieces in his mind were put together. They were planning on massacring. He had to get back and warn everyone there. But he was caught. He fled as fast as he could, outrunning those robed creatures. The parade had begun. People marched through the streets, releasing lanterns and playing all sorts of songs. But their joy would quickly turn into fear. As the man arrived back at the village, he felt the ground shake, like an earthquake had started. As he prepared to warn everyone, Tendrils of tumor mass launched out of the ground, sending fear into the hearts of everyone there. Within a couple of minutes, the village was completely destroyed. It was over. All the man could do was flee. strength. As the age comes to an end, the cycle starts again. Those were the gods hidden from you in World Box. Thanks for watching.